Good afternoon. How is everybody doing? Have you been looking for me lately? Well, guess what? You found me in the kitchen with Angela. It's Saturday. This Creole Roots girl is coming to you again with another video, okay? Today, we're doing all things New Orleans, of course. Join me in my kitchen this Saturday afternoon. We are making, guess what? dirty rice that is correct we are making some good old old-fashioned dirty rice it's not gonna have any ground pork in it or any of that it's old school old-fashioned we're using chicken livers of course the holy trinity which is bell pepper onion and celery then we're gonna use some good old shrimp i'm gonna add a little bit to it even though it's supposed to be old-fashioned Yes, I'm going to do something good and I'm going to add some shrimp in there. So I already have my ingredients cut up here on my chopping board. I have my chicken livers here. I have my Holy Trinity, of course, and I have some good old shrimp. So yes, thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be doing a little dish, starting off with what I said, dirty rice. That's right. I'm coming to you today with a New Orleans old school dirty rice that's right i'm gonna start off my pan of course you know i got to have my cast iron so i'm starting off my pan with some olive oil of course here's my olive oil and then i'm gonna push that to the side let me see you let you see the pan a little bit more like i say you really don't have to see me it's about what i'm cooking right yeah, in the kitchen with Angela this afternoon, and I'm going to add a little butter mixture, of course. So, just get that in there, and then I'm going to start sauteing my veggies first. Okay, I'm going to saute them first. So, we have our holy trinity, that's bell pepper, onion, and celery. I already pre-made my rice. Some people don't do it that way. They don't do it that way. So I have it set where I like to pre-do my rice because it takes a little bit longer if you don't have things prepped. You know how I am about prepping in my kitchen. Gotta prep to make sure things are done right. So I'm just getting my vegetables in here. This is not going to be very long because I prepped. So you'll get to see exactly what I'm doing in the kitchen. We're going to let the veggies cook for about three to five minutes. So we got that in there. I'm going to add my garlic in there as well. <clears throat> and just a little bit. We don't want to add the garlic too early because if you add the garlic in, what it'll do is it'll start burning and it'll give you that bitter taste. You don't want your garlic to be ruined. So you don't always add your garlic in that fast, okay? So we're doing dirty rice today. All things New Orleans. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen. If you like my recipes and more, like, comment, subscribe, invite others to my channel. And I'm going to be creating dishes for you. So this is our good old New Orleans dirty rice, okay? And I'm actually doing it old school style. It's not coming from any box. I don't like any of that. I'm going to do it the way I do things. So I'm going to take my vegetables out after a little bit. I'm going to add a little more oil. You know, olive oil in there. I'm going to season up my livers in the pan okay and then i'm gonna also add my shrimp too so that's gonna be a real good dirty rice and the, the extra ingredient we have is the shrimp normally you don't put shrimp in dirty rice but that's a new thing going around a little fat but it tastes really good it's really awesome so i'm glad you're in here you want to cook down your vegetables that's bell pepper, onion, and celery, the Holy Trinity. You cook that down for about three to five minutes. You know, then we're gonna start moving this over into a different pan because then I have to start cooking my, my uh, livers, chicken livers, okay? 
So we want to get them real brown in the pan. Then once we brown them in the pan, we're going to add back in our vegetables and our, our uh, shrimp, okay? These are some beautiful shrimp. Look at that. Already deveined and everything for me. I love that. So, yeah, we're going to add that in. So, there come the, the vegetables. They're becoming limp. So, I'm going to put them on a plate. Put them to the side. And we come into you with a lot of flavor today. Okay? So, I'm just going to put them to the side. Then we're going to start cooking up our chicken liver. So, I'm going to season them in the pan. So, you'll see what seasoning I'm using. It's really basic Creole seasoning. You know, garlic, all that stuff is going to go in there too. So, just getting my veggies out the way. Yeah, so, they're already, the onions were becoming translucent already, so that's a good thing. And it's all right if I leave a little bit of it in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get these. I'm going to get my chicken livers in, but first I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil in there. And I'm like I said, I'm going to season them in the pan. And that's chicken livers. They're already chopped up. I chopped them up. Like I said, prepping is key. Prepping is key. So I'm going to add my Creole seasoning. Tony Saturated, of course. I'm going to add paprika. <clears throat> I'm going to add cayenne pepper, of course. Black pepper. <coughs> that pepper always makes me cough, I tell you. Get that in there. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. But yeah, so this is the old-fashioned remedy. This is what my mom taught me to do. I'm not a fan of using ground pork of, uh, in, in my dirty rice. It just doesn't seem right. You know, it's generic to me. I'm used to old school cooking. <coughs> All the seasoning is making me cough. It's okay though. We're good. So I wanna <coughs> I wanna add some black pepper. Dirty rice is usually a little spicy. Okay. I also <coughs> I'm also gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. It gives you that dirty flavor, that dirty, that dirty color, not flavor, sorry. It gives you that dirty color, and it also makes it flavorful, too. But um, as we go along, <coughs> I'm going to add back in, I'm going to add back in the vegetables, and I'm going to add in my shrimp. But yeah, this is the way you normally cook dirty rice. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to add back in my vegetables. And you're going to see the color. That's why it's called dirty rice, because of the color. So I'm going to go ahead and get them in. Then I'm going to add my garlic. <clears throat> I'm going to add my parsley. Yeah, I like a generous amount of parsley. I think parsley is so good. It really tastes great. And then I'm going to also add a couple of bay leaf. 
And yes, we're gonna have some liquid in there. So we're gonna make sure things are flavorful. <coughs> and I'm gonna also add my shrimp in there as well. So here's my garlic. We're good on the garlic. The bay leaf. <coughs> we have all those good flavors going on. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop them fish and shrimp in there. So that's what you do. When the shrimp gets in there, then we're gonna start having it turn. It's gonna start turning pink doesn't take you very long to cook seafood when it starts turning pink then you know your seafood is ready <clears throat> but this is something it's a dirty rice old-fashioned dirty rice with a twist in it we add in shrimp that's correct i love all seafood seafood is good 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 to me so i wonder what you guys are cooking today let me know let me know what's happening here. And what I'm gonna add instead of water, I'm gonna actually add some chicken broth, okay? So this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna add my chicken broth in here. Let it cook down. I have my good old accent. I know a lot of people don't like accent, but I'm adding it. I'm not, I don't always cook with it, but it does bring out the flavor. And I'm going to also add a little kitchen bouquet. Check that out. That's for browning and darkening. <clears throat> okay. So, of course, I'm going to taste a little bit of it. <clears throat> but I'm going to let this cook down. Come to a boil. Make sure all my shrimp and everything is in there. Get all those flavors going. <clears throat> Once it comes to a boil... And uh, we let it cook for about a few minutes more. Then we can add our rice in there. But this is an old-fashioned dirty rice. <clears throat> We're using chicken livers, not ground pork, nothing. Not ground anything. So this is what we do in New Orleans. You know, I don't like cooking from a box or a can. <clears throat> unless it's something like puree or something like that of course when it's finished come into a, <coughs> a rolling boil then we can go ahead and start adding our rice in here so like i said my rice was already pre-cooked i love to prep ahead of time if i need some more seasoning once the seafood is cooked down i'll test it to see if I need a little more seasoning, then you know I'll add some more. But this is my dirty rice dish. It doesn't take very long. Some people like to actually take the raw rice <clears throat> and put it in there and let it cook down. <clears throat> but this is still gonna work because I just pre-cooked the rice. You just gotta know exactly what you're doing if you have enough of the rice you know, ratio to the sauce that's in there is good. So, yes, all things New Orleans. This is Creole Roots. I'm Angela. <clears throat> You're in the kitchen with Angela. You can follow me on Instagram, Creole Roots 47. You can also follow me on Facebook, which is Creole Roots Washington, and of course, my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone in my kitchen. I'm just creating some things, letting you see how New Orleans people roll. Okay, so I have two bay leaf in here. You know I have the Holy Trinity in there. Okay, all my shrimp is pink. So we making dirty fried, I mean dirty rice with a twist of shrimp. Okay, so all things New Orleans. This is one of the new ways, but the old way, okay? when you add the shrimp in there. So <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and test my sauce to see if it's good. If it is, 
then I'll start adding the rice. I use a long grain rice as well. <clears throat> so let's see if it has some flavor. Look at the juices from there. Looks good, almost like gumbo, huh? This is great. That tastes really good. It's really good, but I'm gonna add a little more <clears throat> Tony Saturate Creole seasoning. And I want a little bit more pepper. <clears throat> Not much, just a little bit. <clears throat> you know, every time I hit that pepper, I may sneeze, so watch it. <laughs> but it's delicious. It tastes really great. I'm gonna take the bell pepper out in just a minute and then I'll start adding my rice. <clears throat> and then we'll let you see the finishing touches. <clears throat> I'll take the bay leaf out. And here's my rice, it came out perfect. That's long grain rice, okay you guys? So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my rice in there. <clears throat> And this is a simple way to do it. If your family's in a rush to eat, they just can't wait. It's always good to prep. Prep beforehand. I'll stop right there. Make sure I add the rice in there. <clears throat> and you notice I didn't use any water because I wanted those flavors. The flavors came from the chicken broth. And this is our amazing dirty rice. I'm gonna let you see the finishing touches in a little bit. Thank you so much for joining my channel. For more recipes and more, just look up In the Kitchen with Angela, Creole Roots 47. <clears throat> my YouTube channel. And this is my dirty rice here. I'm gonna let all the stuff, all the ingredients marry. I thought I only had two bay leaf in there. I guess I put three, huh? <clears throat> but yes, this is going to cook down. I didn't cook my rice all the way through because I knew I was going to add liquid to the rice. So it's going to finish cooking up. It's not going to take very long because, you know, I already pre-cooked it. So this is a New Orleans staple our dirty rice and I added a twist in there shrimp <clears throat> so <clears throat> if you like this recipe and more like I said you can follow me I have to save my son something. He went out of town to visit his older brother. So this is a Sunday dish. This is part of one of my client's meal. And uh, this, she, this is a surprise. She doesn't know she's getting this. She asked for something different, which is for another day, another video. And uh, I'll probably show you <clears throat> my potato and broccoli. Yes, but this rice is coming together real good. And you just let that simmer down. I'm gonna cover it with a lid. <clears throat> but I want you to see my dish. So this is, let me just grab. <clears throat> I'm gonna let you see this dish here. It's really good. The rice is beautiful. Check this out. New Orleans dirty rice and a twist of shrimp in there. That's your surprise. Thank you for joining my kitchen. This is In the Kitchen with Angela, Creole Roots 47. Thank you. So I'm signing out. Bye. <laughs>